Okay, so for the parts, I went with an M uh, MSI MPG Z390 Gaming Edge motherboard. It's got the Wi-Fi built in, and it's the Z390 chipset. For the CPU, it's got, if it'll focus, it's got an i7-9700K. Oh, and then we're pairing that with the Radeon RX 580. We're using a RMX Gold 750 watt. So the idea here was, because right now I'm using a uh, FreeSync monitor, the idea here is to be able to later on down the line buy a G-Sync monitor and replace the MSI card there, the uh, RX 580, with you know something higher res, or not higher res, but like you know higher core clocks and higher core mounts. Um, and then for system memory, I've got here a standard, what pretty much everybody uses and I've used in a lot of builds. The Trident Z RGB, DDR4, it's a 3200 mega, uh, megahertz kit, um, 16 gigs, yeah. And then to cool the CPU, got a, a 360 rad, um, and then some for peripherals. We uh, got a mouse pad here, just from Corsair, and then I picked up a new mouse because my mouse is crapping out on me right now after five or six years of use. It's basically this model of this before it was RGB. So this was on sale for 30 bucks. It's normally 60 bucks, so I picked it up. And then, yeah, of course, we also are gonna use the uh, 500 gig SSD right there. And then the case, I will show you in a second. So the case is the Cooler Master Master Case H500P mesh. It's got, obviously, the 200 millimeter fans in the front. Uh, it's right now in my room right now, so I can minimize the amount of space I need out here. Um, and then I could assemble the motherboard and stuff like that and then get ready to plop it in and bring it out. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Okay, so as you saw in those time lapses, hopefully, um, I got the RAM out and the CPU out. So basically, we're going to put the CPU in first, then we're going to put the RAM in. Um, and I don't think I could film myself doing this as uh, I'm alone right now. Okay, anyway, let's go. So I got to the point where I could start filming, so in the time lapse you saw the CPU got put in, you leave this cover attached, and then basically what you do is you slide this down and push it under there and the cover pops off. So to do that it's going to take some force, so I want to use both hands, but I just wanted to give you a little video update of that's what I'm about to do. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, so now it's important that uh, since this popped off so easy, you just uh, when you push that down it pops off automatically because the CPU's in there, you save on, to the, you hold on to this. In case your CPU or motherboard, or your, your motherboard, sorry, if you ever have to return your motherboard, you need to return it with this thing installed, otherwise you're going to complain about the uh, pins being exposed. So you need to save this part. Okay, so now we got the RAM installed. Um, in DIM A2 and B2, that's what it said to populate first when I looked at the motherboard, which you should see in this, the uh, shots. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to pull out the case. We're going to set this guy in. We're going to make sure to put the I.O. shield in first. We're going to screw him down and uh, put in the power supply up there. Um, then after the power supply, we can worry about the water cooler. Put that on the CPU. And then uh, we'll get the graphics card installed and then, uh, of course, the hard drive, or this solid state drive, and then we're all done. Okay, and here's the case. It's the, uh, like I said, it's a Cooler Master H500P mesh, and here it is in the flesh. It's nice having the mesh here so it can actually absorb all the air, get all the airflow it needs, and exhaust it through our 360 millimeter radiator that's going to go on the top here. All right, so I'm getting kind of tired of just doing the time lapse, so we're gonna do an unboxing on this one. So it works. So this is the power supply. This is our cable. Some ties, zip ties. All the modularity cables in here. And then here's the what we actually want in here. Which is the power supply.
power supply. Okay, so taking a look at the back of the power supply, I am going to need the 24 pin, I'm going to need the CPU header, which is right there, I'm going to need a SATA, and I'm going to need one 8 pin PCIe, and that is it. So now I'm going to plug those cables in. So that's all the cables I need plugged in, give you a shot, and uh, now I'm just going to slide this in through the back there, pull the cables out the side to hold on to it for now, like pull them out this way. Um, then I got some work to do to hook up the SSD here, route some cables through, take off the top here for the radiator, yeah, it's coming along. Okay, so got the uh, SSD installed here, got all the front panel connections done. Trying to hide them as much as I could here because that's the only pa place I really have to pass those through. I could have done it around here into there, but I think that would have looked a little uglier. Um, we got that up there. That is a fan cable there. That is RGB. We have our power supply cables up there. Radiator's installed, looks good. It's up here. Alright, I just did a test boot. No monitor or anything hooked up, just to see if it's working. And so far, everything seems good. Okay, so we got everything installed. I wish there was something I could do to clean this up here, but that's like an attach. Like it's part of the PCI cable. Maybe I'll figure something out. Um, I love the back plate. Looks great. This isn't touching the fan there at all, so we got clearance there. That's good. I'm going to clean up these wires up there, but first I just want to plug it into my monitor and, you know, see if it works. Okay, so I took the PC out to the living room because I needed drivers installed and whatnot. And uh, as you can tell, I accidentally dropped all this stuff. Well, anyway, turns out even plugged in, I didn't have internet drivers, so I had to figure out how to install my drivers. Luckily, I had a laptop that didn't come with a uh, didn't come with a uh, disk drive in it, so they gave you one with it. So I got that that I've been using. I'm actually installing my drivers off that, so I didn't actually have to pull my computer out here. Oh well, I'm not going to stop installing them to pull it back over to my room to start installing them again. So it's going to get done here. And you can see the screen keeps turning on and off randomly like that, and that's because it's, you know, updating the VGA drivers right now as we speak. Um, here's a look inside. Real sleek. Um, so I've been attempting overclocking this. I'm trying to get it to hit 5 gigahertz. Doesn't want to do it in stock voltages, so right now this is a test for... F nope. Okay. Well, I got it running at pretty much 5 gigahertz. Plus or minus a few percent. Um, I'm also benching it right now on CPU-Z, so it's actually being used at that speed. Um, or it was for a bit there. Uh, when I benched it. Now it's done be being benched. Um, and then there's some temperatures there, if you want to see what I get, I'm getting. Um, so now if I go over to the stress, like let's compare this with a... So I was thinking about getting the 87... Uh, where is it? The, uh, the 8700K right here. So we're going to compare ours to that. And uh, the CPU is fully pinged out. I want to see how how hot our temps will go, and I'll probably uh, now start recording using uh, Sony uh, or Bandy Cam or something like that. Now, screen capture, and uh, one last shot of the PC up the corner. And uh, I'm kind of cheating a bit. I have a little vent from a window. It's cold air. It's just able to.
go right in and then 